didn't have enough time to get ready. Wow. Started too soon that time. Is that it? I think he's holding out on me. Anyway, I need to get off the back foot. Thought I heard something. Yeah, I see he's holding out on me. This machine does not play fair. Slow. That may be it. If he got anything else. So I'm trying to get off my back foot. I don't want to get the front foot down early. I'm trying to hit like guys did 110 years ago. And it wasn't just Ty Cobb, it was Hannes Wagner who said he learned this from Fred Clark and Ed Rouse of the heavy bat says he did the same thing. They claimed that they could step where they saw the ball coming. And I've never figured out how that's at all possible, but at the very least you have to put your front foot down at about the same instant that your hands are coming down. And that's what I've been trying to work on. And the posture that I'm assuming is sort of the typical setup posture of the 1890s. If you look at the old tobacco cards, where they're, they're standing like this. I'm trying to do that and, and just go back and keep that leg very stiff. I'm not, I'm not lifting the front leg up very much at all. And I'm just with a really strong top hand and using the bottom hand to pull in, using them in that parallel reverse motion, trying to get it all to come down off the back foot at the same time. Let me just try three or four more, see if I can connect with anything. I, this machine mixes in change-ups and really, really fast balls. Again, it's about 18 or 20 feet away and it claims that if it's 25 feet away you're getting the reaction time of a 90 plus fastball so I'm really being challenged here and the, the best test of all is to see if you can hold up on a really bad pitch that's almost impossible with that. Come on now. Got a piece. Oh. Ah. There we go. I nailed the last one, but I gotta tell you, for anybody who throws hard, the changeup is the best pitch in the world. I sure looks stupid when I try to hit a slow one. <laughs> 